Our story for this week, Sunday, August 1st, is Seeing Jesus, and it is based on Matthew 25. When you leave to go to school, your parent might say something important to remember. Have a good day, give a good day, ask a good question. After Jesus entered Jerusalem for the last time and before he ate the Passover meal with his disciples, he taught things he wanted people to remember about how to live. If he were telling you this story today, it might sound like this. I want you to remember four things. The first is, I love you. The second is, love me with all your heart. A parent or family member says, I love you. They show their love this way. When you are hungry, there's food to eat. When you come in from playing outside, there's water to drink. When you get ready for school, there are clean clothes ready to wear. If you are ever in trouble and need someone to talk to, they are there and ready to listen. The third important thing is that you can't really see me, but you can see me in others when you do kind things for them. When you help serve a meal at a homeless shelter, spend time with a friend who is sad, save money to give to a group that helps people, sit with someone at school who's eating alone, Help your parent buy clothes or toys for children in a homeless shelter or refugee center. Make friends with a child with autism or help someone in a wheelchair. I am there. The circle of your love can be very big. And the fourth thing to remember is I am there watching your circle of love grow. And our questions for this week are, what new ideas for living like Jesus do you hear in this story? Try drawing your circle of love. Who is in it? Who is not? Who can you add? Living waters for the world make sure that all God's children have clean water. Have a quarter jar at home and church. Every time you eat a meal away from home, put in a quarter. When the jar is full, send the money to Living Waters for the World or another service group. Great questions and ideas. Have a wonderful week.